Alright, we are at my Sonic Crane Machine. I've let it sit for a few weeks, so we're gonna open up the coin box and see how much quarters this thing made. Here we go. Oh my god. Yo, look at this. Holy cow, this is so much quarters. What's up, Joy Fam? Welcome back to another video. That was me getting shipped from China. We bought a bunch of crane machines from China, got them shipped here, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the entire process. All right, guys, the truck is here with the shipment, so we're gonna go out, see what we got. We're currently right now unloading them off the truck. I got all these boxes. I'm trying my best to open up. I need like a... They stapled it together. You yeah, would think they would just have screws. Kind of weird, but I definitely could have got a crowbar. Well, machine. Ah, yes. And then I just have to do this ten more times. Yep. <laughs> just be careful of that. Oh. oh. Yes. All right. Here we have it. Wiggler. You might as well just move it when it's in all wrapped up. There we Ooh, go. Sounds good. Sounds yeah, solid. sounds new. Alright, we're gonna ship Brett to China. We're just gonna do uh... So, um, how much do you think you're worth, Brett? Subscribe right now. Turn on the on yet. His last words before he gets shipped off to China. Alright, well... Ugh. On second thought, I... I may need some help. <laughs> you got some pieces in. Yep. Awesome. How many were over there? Uh, four. Four? Okay. There you go. Wait a sec, where's Will? Yo! <laughs> hey! Yo, MTV, welcome to my crib! <laughs> Did you just okay, get shipped here? Yeah, this is where I've been living the past month. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually from China. So, uh, I was working at a sweat shop and I decided to, you know, come through America. And so far, it's pretty lit. The bathroom, <laughs> the living room, kitchen, it's all here. I can lift the roof. Oh, I might have caught the coronavirus in China, but that uh, was worth it. <laughs> Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Somebody Fam, we are done with the job. We strapped up all the wood. You're able to actually fit it all in the trash can conveniently. So, however, that was only six out of the ten machines. So we still have four more. I don't think we'll have time to do those. I still don't really know what they look like. They could look really bad. They could look really good, but there's more me to find out. So, let's go ahead, push them in, and cut them open. Time has come to open up the machines, finally see what they look like. These things were shipped all the way from China. I don't even know where, but literally China. I bought these um, off of Alibaba, so they were really, really cheap. But once you add all the fees and the customs and the shipping, shipping oh, it adds up very quickly. But they were still very cheap. Uh, it's still worth getting them from overseas and they are custom to joystick arcades so you guys will see that in a second let's go ahead open one of these machines up and see what we got here we go i'm about to open up the new machine that i've never seen before before i do don't forget hit that subscribe button turn on those bell notifications if you guys want to be alerted when i do my iphone giveaways here we go 
go. Whoa! Wow! It's Bro. And it's this joystick. Yep, that's sick. Hold on. All right, guys, we are inside the machine. It looks so sick. Check this out. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is so this is the board right here. Pretty simple. I mean, it's really small. Not much to it. The electronics have really lessened over the years, just because cranes aren't don't really need that much uh, electronic components. About to flip the switch. This will let us know how well it works. In three, two, bam. Oh, look Wow, at look at these LEDs. Oh my gosh, I want to see the front of it. Also, it starts. This is so sick. Dang. Look, it's got a uh, five tries on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for this. Uh, box cutter. Yeah, my box cutter. <laughs> see if I can win it back. Double tap it, maybe? Oh. Ooh, Ooh, I like it. It's a nice claw. Oh, it's going oh. the wrong way. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because of the switch settings. Yeah. All right, Joy Fam, here's a final review. I got all the machines set up, and this is what it looks like. And I'll give you guys a little walkthrough. I got Mario plush in this one. I got some Minecraft plushies in this one. Then I got Family Guy over here. And then I got Sonic the Hedgehog. This movie just came out last weekend. And then I also have this uh, giant glitter plush in the uh, Cut Your Prize. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually open up each machine and check how much it made and how well it did in the last two weeks. I've let these sit for a little bit, so there should be a decent amount of quarters in them. I see a lot of prizes were won, especially in the Sonic Crane. So I'm excited to see how much these machines made. All right, we got it open. Let's see how many quarters are inside. Wow, holy smokes. Jeez, look how many quarters there are. That's crazy. This machine should tell me right here how many plays it has. So I believe each machine had about um, 30 to 50 tries on it when I started. But as you can see, there are 640 tries on here. So that means the machine made about a hundred, a hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's pretty normal for a crane, but one thing you do have to remember is prize cost. The trick about running cranes is making sure that you don't give away too many prizes to the point where you're still making uh, high profit margins. Um, judging by what I can see here, I probably gave away about maybe five or to ten plush. And those plush usually cost me about five to three dollars each. Let's go ahead and open up this Minecraft one. I'm not sure how much this one did. It might have done the least out of all of them, but we're about to find out right now. Let's go ahead and open it up. Before I even look at the quarters, let's see. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell this one didn't do as well. 472, which give it about a hundred tries that's about a hundred dollars because it does count each quarter individually lots of quarters awesome this is what we like to see here holy smokes lots of quarters so yeah probably about a hundred dollars worth of quarters there if not maybe a little bit more this one actually did even a little bit lower looks like people might not like the family guy plush as much which is actually interesting because I thought this one might be one of the better ones. But let's go ahead and check. Okay, not bad. So yeah, there's maybe a little less than $100 in here. Maybe like $75 or so. Um, I do have some Rick and Morty that I will be replacing one of these with. It might be this one. Alright, last but definitely not least is our Sonic the Hedgehog machine this one is probably going to do the best because the movie is pretty hot right now and people love sonic the hedgehog so let's check the meter see how much it did let's see 
583 wow so that's actually surprising to me because uh mario did the best so i'm definitely going to do more mario at my uh other locations holy crap oh my god wow this is a lot of quarters oh my gosh that is a lot of quarters that's at least a hundred dollars um once i divided that number up by four and and minus the demo plays that had on it this is a lot of quarters holy cow okay so that is that is awesome um these trains did really well for just a few weeks and uh, i'm excited to see how they're gonna do in the future i know it might go down a little bit because um the hype kind of dies once people play them enough but if people keep continue to win who knows they might just get more popular let's uh go ahead and uh count up all this money and see how much all these machines made 